have the time, Catherine. Good morning. Hi. Um, look, 15, 20 minutes, you can't fit that in to do a bit of reading with your child. And if you can, then I can assure you that your child is not going to do as well at school. Um, <laughs> these are just the consequences. Uh, we, we have to take the consequences of our actions. And I'm saying that parents need to not outsource the raising of their children to schools. Now, schools have a job to do, which is to teach children. Parents have a job to do, which is to support that learning as best they can at school and to go in above and beyond. Sit down and read with your child for 15 minutes. Um, watch a television program and talk about the characters and how they're being developed. Uh, do a bit of math with them. I mean, if they're little, you might count the peas on the plate. If you don't do this and you leave it up to the schools, at the moment, there are so many teachers out. So your children are not being taught. So well, if, if you just say to yourself, yes, my child is being taught, I'm sending, sending them to school. But they're not because there's loads of teachers who aren't in. Would you so, be uh, putting these comments out, Catherine, without the pandemic? Would it have been applicable then or is this as a result of the pandemic? Well, it's all the more so now. This is why, what I said in the tweet. It's, it's, it's really important now that you do so because you know, if, if you've got a whole gym full of children that, you know, some poor deputy head is trying to teach 100 children at the same time, obviously they're not getting the best possible teaching. Um, but even so, when you have 30 children in a class, when you're in a school, you've, look, you've got new teachers. Teachers who are new are not as good as teachers who have been teaching seven, ten years. Uh, teachers who are training are teaching your child. Teachers who have had a bad day. Teachers, like in oh. any profession, you, you, you will have a variety of, of, of teaching that goes on. Okay. And, of course, it may be that you've got absolutely excellent teaching in every class that you go to and that there are small numbers of children in the lesson so that you've got that one-to-one -one support. Maybe or maybe not. And if it's maybe not, then you've got to think, how am I supporting my child at home? And I'm telling you, there are lots of families that do, and then there are families that don't. And the families but, that don't, don't realize what the other families but, are doing. But how is someone, a, a, a couple, who maybe have no educational expertise, i.e. they've not worked in the profession, how do they know if their child is being taught well at school? What do they look for? <laughs> Okay, and that's a really good question. And I'm saying, like in the tweet, I'm saying you can't know. Even if, you don't, even if you're educated, you can't know. You have no idea what's going on in your child's school and in their lessons. So you need to not assume that everything is perfect. That's the key thing. You need to assume that, okay, well, I might get lucky and maybe my t all the teachers are brilliant and everything is fantastic, but maybe not. And given that I'm not assuming that, I'm going to make sure that I'm getting those extra books at WH Smith's that do extra maths and do some extra English. I'm going to make sure that I sit down with my child and play some chess or play some Monopoly. I'm going to make sure that I'm narrating learning to him all of the time. Mm. That you've got, as a parent, you've got this hat on of how am I developing my child at all times. Mm. So when you say you don't have time, I'm not imagining that there's a whiteboard at home and no, that you're no. teaching algebra. I'm imagining that every time you go out to the park, you're talking about things. If you have small children, you're narrating constantly. If you have a teenager, you're not allowing them to sit in their bedroom on their phone for hours and hours and you never see them. You force them to have conversations. You say to them, tell me about what you did in science today. Let I learned no, Oh, come on, on Cath Catherine. I've picked up my children. They're, they're much, much older now. What did you learn at school today? Nothing. You know that's the response most children well, are going to... And then you say, let me see the textbook. Show me the page that you, 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 you looked at in lessons. Oh, that's Dad! Dad, what's the matter yes. with you? That's right. And I'm your father, and you're going to sit down with me, you're going to teach me some physics. And you know You're what? frightening me now. <laughs> oh, I bid you need to do this, Nick. You need to... Well, they're a bit down. late now. <laughs> they're in right. their 30s. Um, <laughs> la <laughs> <laughs> lastly, Catherine, in, in one write-up, and, uh, yeah, I better confess, my children did go to fee-paying schools, um, you say, or rather the write-up says, Catherine pities children who are educated at fee-paying schools. She says they are, quotes, not being taught properly, close quotes, what did you mean? But I think that's possibly the write-up that's a little unfair to you there. What are you actually yeah. saying, Catherine? I was just saying that there's this assumption in uh, society that teaching at fee-paying schools is good and teaching at state schools is bad. And that's just not true, right? There are a variety of different teachers at all different types of schools, fee-paying and state schools. Some of them are excellent. Some of them are middle of the road. Some of them aren't so good. Even the excellent teachers have bad days and are not doing such a great job. You know, there is a whole variety. Some teachers are new in all of these schools. And if you're brand new, you're obviously learning 
the trade. Teachers are being trained in all of these schools. And when they're being trained, they're not the same as a teacher who's been teaching 10 years. Some teachers are off ill in all of these schools. And when an absent teacher is, the, is when the teacher is absent, they're obviously not teaching an excellent lesson. The assumption that we all make that you just send your child off to school and they will be brilliantly taught all day, no matter what, is the wrong assumption. You're and great. that parents outsource the raising of their children to the state. You and that are great. is wrong. You are, <laughs> when are you going to take over the country, Catherine? <laughs> or could could you start with the England cricket team? Because they need a few words of your coaching <laughs> wisdom right now. Always enjoy speaking with you. Thank you, Catherine. Good luck to you, Catherine Burbell.